we did a report for the Brisbane City Council and they wanted us to use the dazers. Now, what they did, had on the television, um, on the news, they had the new dazers coming in and they're all going to be equipped with these dazers. So aggressive dog comes out, they go whack and all of a sudden the dog runs away. So when I watched the report there, the, the bloke had a fear-biting cattle dog running at him and they're doing the, the thing for the media and it'll go like this. Uh, while pressing the button, the dog's running away. Then it'll take his finger off the button and go like that, and the dog comes and chases it. So it's like, yeah, that's good. So, so the dog's actually reacting to your body language, not this. So we did some tests on the on the Dazer, and for those who don't know what it is, it gives a high frequency sound. Um, most dogs with aggression is triggered by stress. Stress is such an important thing which, which causes a lot of problems in dogs and that. But because it's stress related, in most cases, you'll make a dog bite harder when, they're, um, when you put this on them, okay? Now we did the tests on, on um, some dogs at the kennels there, and every single dog didn't work at any of them. The dog just went straight through it. And the only difference that we saw was that when the dog was biting, I started going like this and started pressing the, um, pressing the taser, it made the dog bite harder because it put more stress on it. So it's going to and started biting really, really strong. And then the dogs that normally just release, you say out and the dog releases, the dog was just hectic and hanging on there because it increased the stress level on the dog. So these things are useless, don't use them. The only joy I've had out of them, I took them to the zoo to see what other animals have worked on. It worked on monkeys. So. <laughs> Works with dingoes too. So, so yeah. So then, so get rid of them. Days and days are no good.